Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Sidek. In this video, I'm going to the speed test and the RAM management test comparison between the Realme GT2 device versus Poco F3 GT device. The Poco F3 GT which I'm trying to use which is running the latest MIUI 13 version in this phone. And let's see friends which phone will be having what kind of RAM management using these 8 applications and 2 heavy games which is Asphalt 9 and the Battery Ones mobile game. That's what I'm going to demonstrate comparing both phones side by side. So first let me need to do the basic reboot test between these both phones. Exactly right. Now let's restart both phones. So both phones are 8GB versions which I am trying to use and 8GB plus 5GB external rank capabilities, 8GB plus 3GB external rank capabilities in the POCO F3 GT. And right now in this video we are going to find out exactly which phone will be the clear winner regarding the RAM management wise when you are comparing side by side. So in case if you are interested in this kind of more videos on the Realme GT2 device, so what you should do is that, so go to my channel and go to the playlist of the Realme GT2, try to click on that and you will be able to find all the latest uploaded videos on the Realme GT2 device. So make sure to check out that uh, playlist as soon as possible. So another thing, let me show you exactly what Wi-Fi connection both phones are connected to. So both phones should be connected to same Wi-Fi network, that's something uh, is very important every time. And because of this MIUI 13, sometimes it feels UI some lag in the POCO F3 GT. So you can see friends clearly both phones are connected to the same 2.4 GHz. And let me do clear everything from the background. All the apps are completely clear from the background as well. You can see some kind of lag is going on. That's because of MIUI 13, not because of POCO F3 GT. Before there is no lag. And there are a couple of things to be noted. So let me to go to the system applications and process manager. I'm trying to do the deep clean before doing the testing that's check and next i'm trying to show you the battery settings so yeah i did turn off this optimized standby mode that's also done and individual applications also i have disabled the back i have enabled enable the background activity as well for example in the amazon application background activity i have enabled in this way i have enabled for each and every application and game also as you can see background activity is enabled. I'm trying to show you everything friends before starting the video because I don't want to get the comments saying that try to allow the background activity, try to disable the optimization, that's the reason. So these are the things in the Realme GT2 device and external rank capabilities 8 plus 5GB is enabled successfully. Now let's start the test comparing both phones. Let's find out what's going on, which phone has got what type of exact speed and regarding the RAM management 1, 2 and 3. So let's try to open the Apple website. So same Wi-Fi connection, both phones are connected. Exactly, same Wi-Fi. So A to Z, I'm trying to show you what settings I'm trying to uh, use in this Realme GT2 device. I'm trying to be very transparent, friends. So this complete video, I'm trying to record without any pass or any editing, nothing at all. So let me to go to the mobiles first. And keep some random phone in the background RAM management as well. Let's keep this both phones in the background. Yes. And here's a flip card. Even in the flip card also, let's go to the mobiles and keep some iPhone 12 in the background. iPhone 11, sorry, not 12. And here's a speed test application. And now we'll be able to see exactly what speed. Both phones, same Wi-Fi network, they are connected to right now. And you can see the speeds what's going on with the 4g splits and that's going to be really interesting friends in the realme gt2 device so let's find out what's happening with the ram management thing so at this moment so i did allow everything in the background activity in the realme gt2 device and no optimization i mean no sleep mode nothing is there enabled so maxed out settings I'm trying to use in the Realme GT2 device and process manager also I did do the deep clean before starting the test itself and this is Asphalt 9 game and right now you can compare side by side the speeds also between these both phones exactly how the speeds are actually varying Dimensity 1200 versus Snapdragon 888 processor so which I forgot to mention but here we go so same Wi-Fi network but still maybe sometimes the connection issues i guess so finally due to opening the poco f3 gt let me let go back and go back to the home screen next is the battery mobile game 
so this battle guns mobile game and asphalt 9 game i did not add into the game space no game space is added because if i try to add them in the game space if the ram management is not good again you will be blaming the game space because of that only ram management is not good that's the reason i'm trying to show you no game space is enabled in the realme g2 while opening this game application games right now so poco f3 gt did open faster in the battle guns mobile game And next is a Hotstar application. Is a Prime videos. Let's keep them in the background. Is a Z5 application. So final friends, I did open all these applications in the background RAM management, as you can see exactly. So now let me to show you exactly what is going on with the RAM management thing. After the MIUI 13 and now with the Realme GT 2 device with the Realme 3.0, now we'll get the answers exactly, friends. Starting from the first application, Chrome application. As you can see, everything is open in the Poco F3 GT. Everything is open in the Realme GT 2 as well. Exactly. All the apps and all the games. Let's start with the Chrome 1, 2, and 3. Boom. It did not even get reloaded, the page. It's exactly there as it is. I'm trying to show you, friends, live demonstration what's going on. And I did enable the background activity also, individual applications and games. And is a touch something that application is there in the background. It's not there. It got refreshed. And next is the Amazon. It's there. So definitely the MIUI improved a lot. Like 100% it improved. I'm not praising the MIUI. Same thing has happened with the Fontage UI also. It's really good for the RAM management. So after the MIUI 12.5 enhanced version, everything has been improved. Not only in this POCO F3 GT, even if you take the Mi 11X device also, the Mi 11X device also performed very good regarding the RAM management thing. That's something to be noted, friends. So this is a speed test. You can see all the apps are completely reloading in the Realme GT2 device, most of the applications. And is the game, Asphalt 9 game. So let's see. I'm not sure in the POCO F3 GT will it be there or not. Not bad, it's still there in the background. That's fantastic. In the POCO F3 GT with the MIUI 13 update. You can clearly see friends what's going on. Bad events mobile game, it's there. So the only thing is that the RAM management need to be improved a lot in the Realme smartphones a lot. So it's there in the background. Yes, and Z5, it's there. So this is a quick RAM management and speed test comparison friends between these both phones. I think you got a clear idea of what's going on. So definitely if you are buying the Realme smartphones, always go for the 12 GB RAM models because 12 GB RAM models will be having really very good RAM management than the 8 GB ones. That's something to be noted friends. And that's it friends. Thank you for watching a straight of more updates. In case if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. This is a quick speed test and the RAM management test comparison. And the clear winner is the POCO F3 GT. Thank you for watching. I'll learn straight of more updates and bye.